Yes, you find us here on the bathing platform of the Y78. Um, you've got Royal William Yard behind me. Um, I'm outside uh, Shed 10 where we built the, the 78 and the 85. Uh, and we're going to go through a bit more detail of, of this area of the boat. Um, so on the bathing platform, this is hydraulic, up and down. Uh, we recommend probably a, a 430 uh, kilogram a tender to be fitted on here. But it's not just a tender lift. You, know, you can utilize this for you know, kids swimming off it or use it as a bathing platform. Instead of coming up that ladder, you can swim onto the bathing platform or indeed just have a set of deck chairs, lower into the water and get your feet wet while you're having a, a refreshing drink. Um, Moving forward, so you've got the join line between the actual boat and the bathing platform, and then you have the back of the boat. Two decent uh, sized staircases going up both sides. Um, in board of that, we have a good storage locker here. That's a good idea for your fenders or ropes, or even wetsuits can be stored in there. Uh, onto this really nice seating area, so you can sit down, join in the action with, with everyone playing in the water, but be able to take the, the weight off your, your feet. Um, that's actually a, a wet locker in itself. So again, life jackets, wetsuits can be thrown in there. Uh, when they've been finished with. That's your um, window into the crew cabin and of course the door in there and we're going to be joining Gap a bit later to go through that in a bit more detail. Quite a large power cable on this one because it's going to North America so they have a, a bigger power uh, uh, surge. That's 100 amps going into there which is fitted to a Glendenning which is a, an automatic uh, a, a reel that winds in your power cable. So up either side and then outboard on both sides we have the, the windlass and the cleats and the rope lockers, you know, nice, uh, nice big meaty bits of kit, and we can reinforce those if you tow a tender as well. Coming up here, we have a, a servery, so there's a pull-out drawer fridge underneath there, bin and locker, and then outside of that is the wing, which conceals your third station. So you've got big wide access decks up either side, and that gives you good visibility up here to, to bring the boat in, particularly if you're going in more uh, Mediterranean style. Side access doors, so both sides again, it's becoming quite popular worldwide to give you access to the aft deck of the boat without coming in uh, um, over the tender or if the, the pontoon is uh, lower than the, the side of the decks. Coming here we've got an emergency en engine access or indeed access if you're underway and it's a bit choppy and you need to do your engine checks instead of having to go back onto the uh, uh, swimming platform you can access it through there. Good size table, it's in the folded up position as you can see at the moment with a good handrail so if people are we're at sea, they've got somewhere to hold on to. But also, you can unfold it out. You've got quite a nice uh, pattern in here, but it's somewhere to have a main dining room table should you want to. All the while, being in the shade of the overhang. Again, side deck up, up both sides, as I said. And then a proper staircase, nice teak line. This has got the lure pack, so it's got the, the teak faces on there. But a nice uh, staircase up to the flybridge, underneath which we have a, uh, your, a locker, which is shoes and things like that but also holds all of your um, pumps uh, emergency shutoff valves. So moving inside you see how the the Y78 is a big light airy boat you know huge windows on either side one level throughout and that's really uh, enhanced on this boat with uh, this beautiful oak floor uh, in V groove finish. Um, nice seating so you've got a two-seater on one side and this big expanse of seating on the other we pull out drawers underneath for additional storage, as well as a really quite beautiful coffee table with, with storage for magazines and games and that sort of thing underneath. Everything you see again, made in house here at Plymouth. This is made in Koi Pool uh, and is really quite a lovely feature. Wet bar, so underneath here we have a, a fridge uh, and bottle storage and that type of stuff. Uh, and then in outboard of that, we have uh, the AV. Pop-up TV comes out behind there and then you can have uh, manual electric blinds coming down, obviously on both sides. More storage, you know, always on the pursuit. This is actually has your, all your crystal, so a, a good selection of crystal glasses on this boat. And then there's a, on this side, more storage again. Popping back over the boat. We have a, I think quite a neat little solution. This uh, angle drawer, which holds a, in this case, your coffee cups or your teacups, your plates and saucers. And then in addition to that, you've got a, a third drawer for other knickknacks that you might want to use galley on this side. This has got a, an electrical sliding glass partition which gives you a bit of privacy from the galley or just close it off a bit if you want to get away. And then into a full service galley. I mean, dishwasher, sink, plenty of storage. You know, it gives you real good interaction with your uh, owner or your guests. Um, you're not hidden away downstairs. You really do feel as if you're, you're part of the entertainment and part of the, the boat. As I said, we've got a, a wine cooler on here which is a, a nice addition as well as 
as an all Y-class boat. It comes with a sub-zero refrigeration, so you've got plenty of refrigeration there, as well as uh, your freezers underneath. Uh, this boat's fitted with the optional ice maker, so plenty of ice. There's also an ice maker in that sub-zero too. On the opposite side, we have a, a good-sized dining table that, you know, full complement of, of, of ship's guests can eat here. This actually slides out, so if you want to serve all the way around, you've got space, and then if you're not serving, it's more, uh, you know, more in a breakfast table or wherever it may be, it can slide in slightly more out of the way. It's actually fitted with a glass bulwark on there, so you can see out and get a bit more of a, a sea vista through that full height window. Really quite remarkable. Coming forward, guest accommodation, or sorry, owner's accommodation down there. So owner has his own private uh, staircase, which we're going to take a look at a bit later. And then the guest staircase goes down forward that way. Up here on the starboard side, I have the, the helm position. Two chairs, one for uh, the navigator, one obviously for the helmsman. And from here, you've got a real commanding position. Visibility is fantastic, both forward and backwards. Like all princesses, yeah, the 78 runs at about a three degree bow rise, so very flat indeed. Uh, so our visibility really isn't a problem at all. Um, I've got two real good uh, Garmin screens here. You can have Rain Marine if you prefer. Central screen has um, uh, solely dedicated to engine instrumentation. And then you've got all the normal uh, control heads for autopilot, your thrusters, and this boat is fitted with a sea keeper. Outboard, I've got um, a, a hydraulic door. So this is a carbon fiber door that you press a button, unbolts, and it pops open and you can uh, g gain access to the foredeck or to, to make yourself uh, aft. Um, again, storage underneath uh, that locker, cup holders, trinket holders, you can put um, phone chargers, that type of thing in there. And then back over here, obviously, past the, the staircases. It's a real nice spot on the boat. Um, plenty of light, you know, I'm sat underneath the bridge window, so beautiful morning light. I've got a drop uh, window on that side, so I wanted some fresh air. And you've got this amazing view back through the dining room, saloon, and back onto the aft deck, and you really appreciate what the 78 is all about. Okay, so we've seen the, the main deck of the, the Y78, and now you find us in the master cabin. Full beam, um, first thing you notice is this amazing Big Brother window, letting in all that light. Um, maybe not in the creek uh, in uh, Newport Street, as you can see, but you imagine being at a lovely anchorage, it is a really lovely place. Um, unit, so this has uh, got a, a vanity unit in here, um, you'll notice real nice features is, is, is we always try to make the, the textures and the feel between the fabrics and the, and the woods, just that little bit extra. Plenty of storage in here. We've got two uh, drawers on either side, as well as the cupboards, and then owner's choice of uh, a table. Vanity unit is lit from above with its own separate lighting if you're not taking advantage of that natural light coming in. Big bed. Um, as always, it's got under drawer storage, two separate drawers to fit the linens or, or whatever we might need to put in there. And then behind this bulkhead, um, with the owner's choice again of um, uh, fabrics on the headboard, we go into the master ensuite. So as you can see, this is beautifully lit. Real nice bright room. Um, owner's choice of a counter surface here. Um, that can be in stone or uh, of your choice. Two separate sinks. And then what's quite nice is you can get your feet right underneath here so you can lean over if you're having a shave or, or brushing your teeth and not get the floor all wet. Floor can be heated should you want to, and you can also have a, a heated towel rail uh, behind me here. Lovely outboard shower, rain shower above, and the separate wand as well, um, nice and big, uh, as well as having them uh, a nice big port light there. I mean, calling it port light is a bit unfair, really. It's a, it's a window, isn't it, with, a, with an opening section and plenty of room to put any toiletries you want to. Um, like I said, nice ensuite. Adding extra benefit of this is engine room bulkheads there, a bit like uh, I said before, gives you extra insulation between the master cabin and the engine room, and then out into double wardrobes, just where you are now, incorporating that full beam of the boat. So coming back into the master cabin again, you know, on the opposite side, we have a real nice area that you can customize to your own uses and needs. So uh, as standard, you have a, a settee over there, um, but you can also incorporate that into a full um, storage locker. So full um, length of the cabin, so on the opposite bulkhead to the bed uh, is the television, and then outboard of that we have the control units for the air conditioning and the lights. They're repeated on either side of the bed as well. And then you get onto your, your lower landing, um, down that private staircase, which is lit by that big window. And in there you have um, storage for your washing machines uh, and your tumble dryer, which can be a combi unit or a separate. And if you have a separate dryer, then that is vented as well. And you have lots of storage for linen, cleaning materials, that type of thing. So we're gonna go back up the staircase now and go forward and take a look at the forward accommodation. 
So it's really nice to have your own staircase down to the, the guest accommodation. You know, you've got your own private staircase to the owner's cabin. This is lovely to have the guests have their own staircase, so it gives everyone their bit of privacy. So off to, off to the side, we have the queen cabin. Uh, now this can come as a, a fixed double, or as you can see here, two singles that slide apart or slide together to give you a full walk around double bed. Um, nice storage outboard of it, um, plenty of head heights, and then that big window on the outside to let natural light in. Today you've got an S78 there, so we can't take advantage of it. Um, vanity unit, TV should you want it is in here. Again, knit from above. And then we have one of the Jack and Jill doors to the day head. So this would be used by your guests during the day to save them using the master cabin. Um, and at night comes the ensuite for this one. Moving out through the nicer passageway. Again, plenty of space here past that day head. And then directly opposite, we have the, the twin cabin. Now this does actually slide together these bunks, not quite like the opposite side where you have the walk around, um, but this bunk moves over should you want to. More big lights out there above head storage and then opposite we have the ensuite next to the wardrobe there. So underneath here we have uh, storage and a lot of uh, clients use this as a good area to put um, all the luggage. So when you collect luggage and you've got a full boat, everyone can put their soft bags into there. Coming up forward into the, the VIP cabin, really good size bed, um, slight step up either side to aid access, but yeah, really good size. Knife windows up forward to let that natural light into it, as well as, a, of course, a, the ensuite, which is a nice size shower, outboard with a, with a big window, and obviously the sink, medicine cabinet, and toilet. Um, we've got a vanity unit in here with a full length mirror, plenty of light, lovely lighting features. So you've got the up lighting around the, the top section, and that's mirrored uh, on these uh, cabinets here. I think you would agree that the, the S78, you know, the stable mate of the Y and the V78, this, this accommodation package that it is, a separate um, master access, um, big cabin there with the, the full on suite and, and full beam uh, bathroom, as well as the, the separate guest accommodation up here forward, really makes it a strong contender in any market for, for an 80 foot boat. And once again, you can find me here in the engine room of the Y78 between these two massive V12 diesel MAN engines. The Y78's got the 1800 horsepower variant, and that's delivering a top end performance in excess of 30 knots on this boat. Um, behind me here, as you've seen on some of our other models, AC DC panels on the, on the forward bulkhead for power distribution throughout the vessel. Uh, in the bilges to my left here, you've got the main engine sea strainer seacock, so easily to hand, no tread plate, they're not buried down in a deep bilge, uh, there for daily exercising um, and for maintenance access as well. Sea strainers are mounted on the forward bulkhead, just forward of the engines, again easy to get to for those inspections and maintenance. So outboard of these two diesel engines, you've got the fuel tanks. Uh, fuel tanks on this boat hold up to 6,000 litres of diesel fuel. You've got the option for an additional tank on the centre line if you want to extend the range of the boat. This boat, this particular boat has got that option, uh, hence the fuel transfer system you can see mounted on each side here. Below the tanks is where we fit the stabiliser fins. So again, on the Y78, the actuators for the fins are actually within the engine room, which is great for anybody that's trying to get some rest on an anchorage down in the main deck master cab, uh, sorry, in the lower deck master cabin. Uh, as we move aft, I'm now in the middle of the engine room and on the aft bulkhead here, you've got the uh, generator set. So this boat's got the additional generator set, which comes as an option on the Y78. You get a 22.5 kilowatt generator as standard with the option for an additional, and you can upgrade both of those generators to 27 kilowatts. So if you go for a really large specification, there's plenty of space for all the power that you need. Um, this boat also comes with a gyro stabiliser option uh, and that mounts here in the middle of the engine room. It's a Seakeeper 18 unit and again that's uh, a really nice option to have if you're spending a lot of time out on the anchor. So I'm now going to move aft towards the crew area. Off to starboard, just forward of the engine room door here, we have the air conditioning system which uh, comprises of two chiller units with the auxiliary batteries for all DC power through the boat below. Above me here, you've got the secondary access to the engine room from the cockpit floor, which is a really good size, so it's not just an occasional access. You could actually use that for inspecting the engine room underway or for any maintenance access that doesn't need to come through the crew area. As you can see, really robust engine room door, as you've seen on many of the other Y-Class models, um, with the viewing port in the top for easy inspection. 
This particular boat um, has gone for a slightly different layout here in the crew area. So we've got a full height fridge freezer here, which is fantastic for anyone that's happy to run the boat with two crew. Got plenty more refrigeration space down here as back up to the main galley on the main deck. Uh, it's a really good size hanging locker here, which would be good for wetsuits or any, any, any wet gear that's uh, being used on the bathing platform. They've also gone for an additional microwave in here. There's uh, some storage below, and then this particular boat's got an additional power cord uh, for shore power, so uh, the space below there has been taking up for that on this particular boat. The standard Y78 has a berth above here, or space for a berth, I should say. It actually comes as a countertop, but you can put a mattress there so that you can have an additional third crew member sleeping down in this space if you want to. And with that, with that you get a window above with an opening port light in it as well. There's also plenty of space for a washing machine and separate dryer, should you require them. As I move out to the port side, we're now moving into the crew cabin. And as you can see, it's a really, really good size. You've got a thwartship berths for two crew members with plenty of space and plenty of headroom at the head of the beds. Um, both with independent reading lights, storage in this forward bulkhead here, plenty of storage underneath the berths here on both sides, um, and hanging locker aft with a transom window above. This cabin's been fitted out really nicely in keeping with all of the other staterooms on the boat. So should you be an owner operator and this, this boat could act, this cabin could actually feature as a, a fifth cabin. As I come back into the engineering space to my left here, which is forward, you have a separate bathroom for this cabin also with um, independent shower stall as well. You've got three really good sized steps up to the transom door here, which leads out to the bathing platform. The bathing platform is suitable for lifting a, a tender up to 430 kilos um, and is a really nice space on the boat when the boat's out at anchor. And that's really it for the, for the space down here on the Y78. For me, this is the quintessential Y-class boat. It, uh, it offers everything that we are trying to, uh, to offer with a Y-class. You've got um, owner-operator capability. She's a very easy boat to handle. You can crew the boat, you've got plenty of space for crew to live down here comfortably, um, uh, which makes her really good for the charter market as well. Well, thanks, Gareth, from the engine room. We all know your favourite place to hear on the flybridge of the 78, the Y78. Now, as you can see on this boat, we have a crane. Um, the crane is an optional extra on this boat, should you want to keep the, the tender up here or a jet ski. If you don't have this, then you can have a, a large sun pad out here as well. Um, when you have the sun pad, you have a nice railing all around the back with a, a nice glass feature similar to on the 85. Now it's a uh, sun's coming out but we have been raining so as, as we walk around you're going to see quite a bit of wetness everywhere and you know uh, damp decks. Uh, that give you a good idea of how the boat is, is pretty well sheltered in these elements. We're also outside shed 10 which is where we build the, the Y78 as well as the 85 so you will hear some uh, noise around us as the guys continue to, to build the boats. So I said nice big aft section here uh, staircase down from the, uh, or up from the aft deck, nice and secure with the, the drop catch over it to keep it secure if you've got younger children or you want to keep the weather out if the boat is left over the winter months. And then moving forward, part of the reason why this boat has been so successful, uh, we've built over 100 of these now, the Y78, and it's this big seating area, big flybridge where people can enjoy. Bit of noise behind us, that's the 62 just being lifted out following a sea trial. So nice big seating area, as I said, Plenty of room for, for family and guests to sit. Table for uh, occasional dining or, or coffees. Can fold out and turn it into your main dining table if you like to sit up here during the day or in the evening. Opposite the bar. Bar is fitted with a, a really good barbecue. Pull out drawer underneath. Plenty of storage underneath there as well as obviously your sink. A nice place to entertain from. Moving forward, we've got a really nice seating area on both sides. Now, on this side, we've got the day bed that slides out, similar to the other models. So guests can sit there and you know, retain a bit of privacy, but also out of the wind if you're running. And then two good helm seats. So you've got your navigator and your, and your helmsman here, double screens. So you can again have uh, your radar on there or your uh, chart plotter, as well as all the boat's instrumentation. We've got uh, uh, hydraulic thrusters on this boat. So hydraulic thrusters are standard. Um, you can order the boat with fin stabilization or with a um, sea keeper, so you can have an extra head unit up here should you want to. And then looking forward, you have a, a really good view out there of the bow, being able to see your, your guests and uh, uh, family enjoying themselves up there on the windy spot. That comes with an optional, should you want it, sunshade as well. Talking of sun, we are 
on this boat it's got a hard top now a standard it comes with a normal radar arch with a, a bimney now that can be hydraulic or manual uh, and this one is fitted with the hard top painted on this option or you can have it as a, a bare grp um, or you can also have it a solid section or with an opening section as well so good size again why this boat has been so popular is the space we have up here plenty of room to entertain your guests and family um, as well as you know just a nice place to enjoy yourselves thanks very much Thank you.